Welcome to Land Musings. Today we are going to go through my current fountain pen collection. And naturally, I'll also show you my fountain pen cases. We'll start off with my Galen Leather 10 slot zipper pouch. And clearly I am a fan of this colorway. It is Galen Leather's Crazy Horse Brown. We'll just open this up. And in here I have my more affordable pens, um, my Cavecos and my Jin Hao 82 pens. I've been having a little fun with these Jin Hao 82 pens. I like to call these my matcha and coffee pens. I have another one here as well which just doesn't fit in this case. What I've enjoyed is interchanging the parts of these Jin Hao pens. Um, this one's missing the top bit but I'll just show you in my matcha pen. You can essentially play with any of these parts of the pen and um, swap them around with the other Jin Hao pens. So I have four of these. Um, two of them were gifted from my friend Lindy um, and I have just made a bunch of coffee and matcha pens with these colors. I really love this color. Um, I was inspired to get it after my friend Lindy showed me hers and it's just a beautiful caramel coffee color with some large glitter particles. This one is in an M nib and is currently inked with Robert Oster Toffee. And this one is essentially the opposite colours of the coffee pen that I just showed you. And I like to think of this one as a uh, Vietnamese coffee pen um, just because of the condensed milk. And I think that just reflects it really well. Um, and so this one is in an F nib. And next up we have my Caveco Student 20s Jazz Pen, um, which has this beautiful brown lid and these gold details, which makes it look really luxe, um, but it's actually a very affordable pen. And I have that one in a fine nib. This one here is my Caveco All Sport in rose gold, and it is inked with Taranishi Opera Rose, which I think is the perfect combination. I initially bought this in a fine nib, but I replaced it recently with an M nib. Next up is my Caveco pen. I want to get one of these nostalgia clips for it, but it is not in stock at the moment. This one is the Caveco Collection Iridescent Pearl pen. And I got this one in an M nib so that I can pop some shimmer inks in there. I'm still trialing the shimmer inks so um, we'll see how I go with that. And then we have two more collection pens which are the limited edition pens and they both have the nostalgia clips on there which is inspired by Charmaine here on YouTube last two pens um, in this Caveco collection. This one here is my Mocha pen and last but certainly not least is the green pen. This one is actually the first fountain pen I've ever purchased and it all went downhill from there um, for my bank account. <laughs> this one has a gold colored nib. It's actually just a steel nib but I think the gold and green combo is beautiful. And that's it for my 10 slot case. I'll just close this one up and I just love this color so much and it feels so smooth, so soft and also chunky. I do have a video of the unboxing for both of these cases, which I'll just pop up here. 
And this one is the five slot leather zipper pouch. Um, and it has a little section here for a notebook. At the moment, only got two pens in here. Um, this one here is the Sailor Prophet Junior pen with the Fude nib. I'll just show you this special little nib. You'll see it has this really interesting curve or bend, um, which allows you to have different line widths. I currently have this one inked with the Atramentus Black Archive ink. And the plan is to do some fun little sketches with this pen. The next one I have here is my Moon Man. I think it's the A1. It is missing the clip here, which I have found to work better with my grip. I have a YouTube video on the Pilot Vanishing Point Capless compared with the Moon Man A1. I did sell the Pilot Vanishing Point and I have decided to keep the Moon Man A1. I have a couple other pens here that are just sat on my desk. This one is the Conklin pen. I don't remember what this one is called, but I really love the patterns on this one and the size of this one. It fits really well next to the Traveler's Notebook in the passport size. And I'm not quite sure this one fits in a fountain pen video, but it is a dip pen, specifically the Pilot Iro Utsushi pen. And I got this one in the M nib and the reason why I got it is so that I can use my shimmer inks which I have accumulated a lot of in the past few months. I have another dip pen here as well. This is the Sailor Hokoro pen and uh, it is another Fude nib which is just fun to play around with swatches and whatnot. Just trying to show you the bend in the nib here. There we go. There we go. The nifty thing about this pen is that it uh, you can take this nib off and slot it into the body um, and then it just makes it really portable. I have one more fountain pen case. Um, this one is the insert for the four slot pouch. This one here is the Pilot Custom 823 pen in amber. I do have an unboxing video of this pen as well. I'll just pop it here for you, but uh, have a look at this nib size. It is giant. What I'll do is I'll show you this nib in comparison to a popular Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Have a look at that. Giant. Huge. Um, it also did take a bit of getting used to. I would say the Sailor Pro Gear Slim is my preferred nib size, but the body of this Pilot Custom 823 is just too beautiful. It also has this weird thing where you loosen the screw at the top to release the ink into the chamber and it's supposed to keep the ink from drying out, which I think is kind of fun and interesting. Okay, and while this one is already out, I will take you through my Sailor pen. This is my first and only Sailor pen. It is the Grateful Crane which is a uh, very light blue with very, very small shimmer particles um, in the body there. I will try my best to show you this shimmer, but it is quite hard to demonstrate it here in this video. But uh, that's the pen. It is beautiful. I am hoping to add more Pro Gear Slims to my collection because I just love the feedback that it gives. This one here is my Twisby Diamond Mini in Rose Gold. Bought this one towards the latter end of last year and I inked it up with the Atramentus Plum 
and it is still going strong after all these months, um, which is a testament to the Twist B pen, as it has not dried out and has not had any hard starts so far. Lastly, we have my Diamond 580 in the smoky black with the rose gold detailing. And this is such a beautiful pen. I loved the Diamond Mini so much, I just had to get this one as well. And I will just show you the difference in the nib sizes in the 580 and the Diamond Mini. So you can see the difference in the nib sizes here. And I will say I do prefer the Diamond Mini um, size. I have that one in an F and my 580 is in an extra fine. So far I've been really happy with these Twisby pens. They have been super smooth and super reliable and they hold a ton of ink. So this Galen leather insert here I just keep on my desk outside of the case and these are my most used pens. The case just looks like this and I am currently using it to hold my pet tapes and washi samplers. Um, but even so, it does fit in the case even with all of this bulk. Not that I'd be doing this often, but just to show you how much can fit in this Galen leather pouch. Oh no, have I spoken too soon? <laughs> Hang on just a moment. I'll just tuck the insert in a little and there we go. But yeah, I prefer to keep this one out on the table um, just so that my favourite pens are easily accessible. And that's it for today's video. I have just taken you through my fountain pen collection which uh, is going to grow soon as I've made a few impulse purchases which uh, if you follow me on Instagram you will have heard about. Um, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, my handle there is also Lined Musings. And uh, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please pop a comment down below. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!